Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to find the angle of a negative y component in a positive x component vector. Now, the one thing you want to consider in a vector, it's always written in component form, so if you are going to use x's and y's, think of it this way. Just keep in mind that a vector is very flexible due to the definition of a vector, so you can actually draw a vector any way you like, as long as it fits the magnitude and the direction. Now, if you have a negative y component and a positive x component vector, and you want to find the angle, you simply use the formula, and this will apply to all vectors here, and it's a tangent theta is equal to y over x. Now, what you want to do is make sure that your calculator is in proper uh, form mode, uh, whether it be degrees or radians, but basically you plug in whatever numbers that x and y are in this particular formula, and if you think about this formula, it's a pretty uh, classic trigonometric formula, so it should be pretty familiar to you. But what you want to do simply is plug in the x and y's as they belong, and then plug it in, and then what you want to do is use the inverse tangent function, so theta is equal to tan inverse of y over x, and then whatever these values are, just plug them in, and you'll find the angle that's given. So, I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to find an angle of a negative y component in a positive x component vector.